Okay, same thing is another question on equation. Okay, what I see is a few things. The equation is given. Take note, x must be greater than 0. Okay, what is it we need to find? We need to find the x coordinate which the normal is perpendicular to this line. Alright, so the blue part is the info. The green part is what we need to find out. So we need to do slowly. Okay, this question, what is the keyword that will appear to you? What's the keyword? Or rather, what is the keyword that will tell you you have to do differentiation? Normal. normal. Very good. But remember, when we do differentiation, is it for the normal? It's for the tangent. Okay, can I get you to do your differentiation first? Okay, you are correct to tell me, oh, the normal will tell us to differentiate. But remember, when you do differentiation for the first time, this is meant for the tangent. I'm going to write it out first. Huh? This is the gradient function for the tangent. Alright? But what did they say? They say the normal is perpendicular to that line. But is the line in the form that you want? Because when I say in the form that you want, is the line very easy for you to see what is the gradient? No. Then can we rearrange? Can you do it now? Okay. So we need to change the form of the line to y equal mx plus c. And it's very clear cut. You can see this is the gradient. Okay. They say the normal is perpendicular. Wow. Very cheap. The normal is perpendicular. Never mind. Okay, let's take it. Find the gradient of the normal. Eh? What we have done just now is for the gradient of the tangent. Am I right? If I want the gradient of the normal, what must we do? Negative reciprocal. Am I right? Okay, let's do that now. So, the gradient of normal is the negative reciprocal. Okay, I do the long way first, ah. don't worry. But as you know, the negative reciprocal is just flip the flexion around, but you must introduce the negative. Can you see what I did? I flip the flexion around because it's a reciprocal, and the negative, I multiply it to the numerator. That's the change that I did. Can you all see? Okay, huh? So, like what you told me, oh, the one for the normal is perpendicular to the one for the line. So, let me write that. So, I have the normal. I have the gradient of the line. Since they are perpendicular to each other, Alright, means the product of the two gradients must be equal to negative 1. Alright, so I'm getting the normal as well as the tangent, uh, sorry, the line. And I use the concept of being perpendicular, that's why it's equal to negative 1. So now we are only left with the last thing. Solve for x. Okay, I give you some time to solve for the x now. Okay, this is not a question on quadratic inequality, so it's okay for x squared to be negative. We can press a calculator immediately, and for the negative result, remember to reject and accept x equal to 5 because they say x must be greater than 5. Ah, so during a test or exam, if I get a whole number like that, I'll be very happy. Alright? Okay, first thing in question 3. The curve meets or cuts the line at one point, and this point is called A. After you find the point A, your job is to find the equation of the normal at A. Do we know what is A? Don't know yet, but you know the curve meets the line at A. What should we do? 
simultaneous equation, equate them together. Am I right? So actually, I will straight away equate the curve equal to the line because y is equal to y. Simultaneous equation. Okay? And our job is to find x, right? Okay? But start left, the x, the square root x is at the power. Ah, we need to get rid of the e. So we introduce ln on both sides. But what is ln 1? 0. And you can bring down the power. So square root 1 minus 1, ln e which is 1, is equal 0. Okay, we have a very nice answer for x. So, I already know what is y. y is equal to 1. So, 1 comma 0. Straight away, we get the coordinates of a. Sorry, apology. It's 1 comma 1. y equal 1, huh? not 0. Okay, moving on. But I want to find normal. Ma. Before we find normal, we must find tangent. But before we find tangent, we must do dy dx. Okay, but I cannot do dy dx immediately. I'm going to use the right side. Huh? Alright, why? Because I need to simplify it first. Square root can be written as power half. x to the power of half. Minus 1. Okay, recap. If I want to do my differentiation of first derivative for exponential term, what do I do first? Copy. After that, differentiate the power term. In this case, the power is x to the power of half minus 1. So I differentiate x to the power of half, I get half x. Power minus 1, I get a negative half. Alright? Okay, so remember, when you do dy dx, this is for the tangent. So okay, lo, let me find the m of tangent. Okay, remember to show me what you substitute inside. Because it's at a, x is equal to 1, so half 1 negative to the power of negative e 1 to the power of half minus 1. What is 1 to the power of half minus 1? 0, right? So e to the power of 0 is just 1. So you end up having just half times 1 times 1. You will get half. Of course, you can press the calculator. But do we want the gradient of the tangent? No, we want the normal. So, remember, negative reciprocal. So, I find the gradient of the normal. Negative reciprocal of half. You will get a negative 2. So, y equal to negative 2x plus c. Use the point a, 1, 1. So, 1 is equal to negative 2 plus c. So, end up my... My C will be 1 plus 2, which is equal to 3. So I can find out the equation of the normal in this case. So there are two things you are required to find. One is the coordinates of A. The other one is the equation of the normal at point A.